Look, it's time to get the beauty pageant started. Everyone is excited to find out once and for all where we place. We've brought in three experts. Allow me to introduce you uh, to the following people. Claire Harth, editor-in-chief of Playgirl magazine. David Soloff, who is the men's booker for Click Modeling Agency. And Mark Adams, the senior editor of GQ magazine. Gary, are you going to bring all those people in right now? They're, they're on the way right now. I didn't even recognize Gary. I thought one of the judges was in the room. Uh. Gary, where'd you get that suit? Dude, I wore this to the premiere of the movie. You know what? You told me I looked good that day. Yeah, I tell you that all the time because I no, lie to you. No, no, no. You usually don't. Dude, you might have blown it with that You outfit. actually went out of your way to tell me I look good. Really? All the Delabon. This is, you know what? You look like a priest. I didn't want to tell you how much this suit costs. What does it cost? Well, oh, wait, here comes everyone. Come on in, judges. Relax. I'll, I'll set up with the judges. We'll fit. Hi, guys. Come on in. This is great. All right, now these are three experts, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe we should judge the judges. <laughs> Maybe the judges are going to have to get up and model. <laughs> judges, first of all, let me uh, welcome you to the show and assure you that your opinion counts. And here's what I want to say to the judges. First of all, let me introduce everyone. This is Claire. Claire is from Playgirl Magazine. What do you do at Playgirl, Good Claire? Good morning. I'm the editor-in-chief. All right, so you see a lot of pictures of men. You've seen men. You've evaluated men. You like. Uh, you like men. Naked. You like to look at naked men. All right, so you are probably a very good judge. Of men. Of men. The best. Right. Okay. Well, and what a good-looking man would be. That's right. Now, Claire, don't even like, try to keep your mind blank until we get to the actual pageant, even though th th this, is, this is our goal. Well, let me introduce the rest of the guys. David, you are the men's booker for Click. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. So you pick out the male models. Absolutely. All right, so you look at a guy and you say, wait a second. Not only is this a good-looking guy, but this guy has the ability to... Sell product. Sell product. Exactly. That's right. So you are a judger of men every day of your life. You are judging whether or not men are good-looking. So Absolutely. you know what right. it is about a man that makes him attractive. Shh. Yeah, but they also can sell a product. Okay. Right. Okay, good. I like this. Our next uh, expert is Mark Adams, senior editor of GQ magazine. Now, you certainly see men all the time. Yes. In clothing, you are constantly looking. And you're looking for appealing men. Right. You yes. know, because people, okay. you want people to read the magazine and to appreciate what they say. Let me tell all our judges the way, it's at, the way we're looking at it. None of us consider ourselves good looking. In fact, I consider myself a mess, a train wreck. Well, let's say they don't consider themselves model material. Right. We understand we're not models. But we often have the argument on the show, who is the best looking out of all the guys who work on the show? And where they rank in the, the general population of men. That's right. And what I'm going to ask you for is total honesty. I swear to you, no one will hold it against you. We want you to say whatever it is you have to say. If somebody has a, uh, a stomach that's too baggy, if somebody has uh, breasts that look like they belong in a woman, if you're brutally honest. In fact, especially to the guy from Click, yeah. I w what I'd like you to say is not what you would tell the model, but what you would tell all the other guys when you get back in the room about somebody you didn't like. Right. That's right. And they're not here right. when you're talking about You have to take your inhibitions and throw them out the window. We want to know what's wrong with us, and we want to know who ranks the best. We want to put them in order, the whole thing. Because we need to know. Very We're insecure mean. men. Number scores, I guess. Right. There will be number scores. We're going to have two. We're going to have two categories. And this isn't about what we're wearing. Yes, we've all worn something where we think we that look. You hope you look that nice. we look nice. In, but it's really just about looks. We're going to put on swimwear and we're going to wear regular, mm -hmm. uh, you know, nice clothes. Something they wear on the street. That's right. <laughs> and really, what we're asking you to evaluate is not so much do the clothes look nice or that outfit or whatever, but is who is handsome. Face -wise. Who is attractive? Face-wise, attractive. Yes. That is correct. Face-wise, everything wise. Everything, everything body. wise. Body, like total, total package. Yeah. Robin is right over there. Yeah. And, right, and, and wait a second. It, it, Robin's I, a big yanta. It might also include <laughs> yes. who exudes charisma. Charisma. No, 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 no. No, yes. no charisma. Then you're all going to lose to Howard. Please. No, you please. It's face we, have no, we have no charisma. You can, you can leave charisma no, out. No, like the guy from Click said, who can yeah. sell a product. Maybe no. you're charismatic. No, you know no Gary, you're confusing it, and okay. please allow me not be to. Because Don't worry, you'll lose on that level, too. Yeah. This is the kind of thing where <laughs> if you saw these guys in a park sitting in, right. the, in the, what is that, the, the heat meadow or something. Right. Who would you most likely pick? If you needed somebody to take a photo of. Better yet, if there was a nuclear explosion. Oh, man. And the only men left on the planet were the following men that you're going to see. No you'd say, gee, Who's out of all model? of them, they're losers, but one of them i got to make a model. <laughs> okay? The now you're the worst. Whether they be in Playgirl or Click or GQ, it doesn't make a difference. When he says sell product, he means with a print ad, not... Mm. Whatever. Whatever. 
That's enough explanation already. Yeah, this has nothing Gary's to do with personality. personality. Right. Well, Gary's nothing. Gary's dragging this out. I want to get it over naked, with. Right? What? Everyone's going to be naked, right? No one's going to be naked, but we will be in swimwear. I'll get, I'll get naked if it helps. Really? Really? <laughs> oh, God. Hey, you woke up the judge. Is that before? <laughs> the, judge, the judge is just... Hey, now. Up. Hey, now. <laughs> really? You really want to win? I'm just hoping to place somewhere in the top three. I, let's not even talk about what let's we want. Right. Do that. And by the way, I've been asked to say the following. Because it's the Howard Stern Show, please do not consider me above anyone else just because it's my show or something like that. What? But also, I would ask you in all fairness that if I am better looking than the rest of the guys... Don't vote against me. Please don't vote against me because everyone's going to say, oh, the judges just did it because they want to be on the Howard Stern but Show. But once he leaves that microphone, he's just a guy. I'm just a guy. The all just guy all right. you pick. So, I mean, not to be contrary to say, oh, I'm not going to give him any votes because I don't want them to think I'm biased or something like that. Just be honest, dead honest, and we want to hear everything that's in your in your mind about us. Yes. Okay? All right. All right. Now, how now, does this work? Now, here's how it works. Each one of us will step out, even though the judges have already seen us in our clothes. Who's going to go first? You want to go first, Gary? All right. He's Why now? All right. Okay, Gary. Why don't you step up to the uh, microphone there? Put the mic in. All right. And let I the judges look at the you. Other room, don't I? Uh, you should eventually come into this room, okay. yeah. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> no special music? No special music. Oh. You want some music? Here's some. Yeah, Gary is wearing an ensemble. Maybe I should uh, wait. Wait. Got a lot of buttons. And here's some uh, modeling music. There you go. Oh no! Oh, Gary! All right. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna keep going in this order. I'm gonna go to Claire first. And Claire, I'm gonna ask you on a scale of one to ten, but also give us your thoughts on Gary and what he looks like and attractiveness and all of that. You want to turn around, Gary? Yeah. Let him see your. Uh, butt. Although in the swimmer, you'll see more. Yeah, but that's him in yeah. his streetwear. Yeah. What are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking about a six. A six. Why? Um. Phenomenal. <laughs> Why a six? He looks good. Um, mm -hmm. nice, kind of casual, but uh, fancyish wear. I like guys a tiny bit taller, perhaps a little bit um, less hairy. No, 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 no. no. Just a little bit thinner. <laughs> a tiny bit. Thinner. Say it. Just a tiny bit. A little firmer, perhaps. A little yeah. firmer. Right. Gonna, um, but you're giving him a six. Yeah. Really? You're saying his shoulders are nice. Oh, what is nice? What is nice? Is it the lips? Is I it like the, the dude from Click is just staring at me? Right. Yeah, well, well, I, well, I can't wait to get I to him. <laughs> I like brunettes. My what? Nuts. Brunettes. Brunettes. Oh, brunettes. brunettes. I thought you said Stop. you like his nuts. I said, oh, no. wait, you haven't seen those yet. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. So, so Claire, you're going to evaluate a six. Is someone keeping track of all the scores, I hope, Gary? Uh, Emery out in our office. Okay. okay. All right. Yeah. Let, let's go to David next because uh, everyone's anxious. He, he seems to have something to say. David, please, Baba Booey, evaluate. That shirt's got to go immediately. Okay. Why is it got to go? It's just wrong. It's just completely wrong. Okay. You need, like, a real collar. No, mm -hmm. I don't know. That looks like, I don't know. It's also kind of tight around his fat neck, right? Yeah. Those, yeah. That's <laughs> Okay, the, the that suit is pretty incredible, too. I've yeah. never seen a double-breasted Nehru suit. <laughs> it's pretty Me neither. It's pretty bad. It's with the pleated pants and the whole thing, the outfit's not happening. And a black okay, suit but, with But remember, this shoes. is looks. Oh, but yeah, well, it, it looks bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm kind of disappointed because I, I would have given you an eight because when I saw you outside, your hair, you had this one like... Mm. Killer loop, like Wi-Fi ball thing up there, right. and it's gone now. Wow. And he got it like that. No, Gary, Gary wanted me to fix his yeah. hair. He wanted me to plaster it down. Right. Can I tell you something? He just got that haircut yesterday for this special uh, no, occasion. No, it was fine before. Now right. I'm like, I don't know. But what about his looks, though? Um, seriously, he needs to lose a couple pounds. Right, true. we he's know that. Little, he's a little short, but right. a few pounds. One to ten. One to ten. Seven. Oh, oh, come on. Seven. Guys, guys, all right, all right. What are you doing? doing? Shh, shh, Jesus all right. A seven. If he was thinner, he's got like a good, bigger nose, and it's like kind of interesting. Okay. All right. All right. So seven, seven it is. We got to accept the judge's scores. Right. We can't argue with them. So if he lost another ten, ten pounds, he'd be an eight? No, if he had that curl in his hair, he'd be an eight. We all all right, let's wow. go to Mark Adams, senior editor of GQ magazine. That's easier to do than to lose a ten pounds. <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, Mark. The hair is great. It, it does look like a party haircut, though. Yes. Just had it done. Mm -hmm. Like the Kennedy thing. Mm -hmm. With Curly. Um, yeah, you could lose about 10 or 15 pounds. Right. Right. Um, Got to do something about the shave. In what respect? Um, you obviously have a heavy beard. Yep. I would uh, shave in both directions. Uh-oh, I didn't shave. Interesting. <laughs> no. Yeah. I only shave up, you know. Is that bad? It yeah. depends on your skin. Mm -hmm. Your skin can take it. Yeah, you look like Nixon. 
You know, I know. Hey, hey. You know what? Stand closer to your razor. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what he's trying to tell you. Yeah, so what would you give him number What would you one? give him one? I'd give him a six. A six? Oh, not bad. Hey. Sure, Those huh? are phenomenal scores. Okay. Does, phenomenal I, know, I know that the next competition... Does, you're going to go down, huh? Right. Does anybody have a problem with the brown shoes with the black suit? Well, I don't think that we're evaluating clothing. It's not a clothing no? thing. No, I think it's, it's really about looks, even though this is the best way he thinks he can look. Okay. All right. Fred, why don't you go next? Fred, go ahead. All right, here comes Fred. He's going to march in the room so you have a good t uh, look at him. All right, this is the, uh, we wore our sexiest outfits where we thought we looked good. But, of course, um, uh, we're going to be doing bathing suit next. Oh, Jesus. All right, Fred. Oh, jeez. All right, Fred, in the spirit of the... Uh, gorgeous. doing his best. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, once again, I'm going to go to Claire Horace, editor-in-chief of Playgirl magazine. Hmm. Fred Norris. Don't stare at her. <laughs> yeah. Immediately, I had a bad sinking feeling. She went, uh, please, mm. let, let no, Claire no, no, talk. No, just Don't intimidate the judges. Um, I think your chest needs to be firmer if you're going to show it that much. That's okay. interesting. You haven't seen it yet. <laughs> Let's not argue. Sure. Come on. Are you I'm just... Claire, please don't be intimidated by the participants. Keep going. <laughs> um, right. no matter and what he does. the hair needs a little bit. It needs to be shorter. Yeah, I was going to get a haircut, but I figured the day before the competition would be really ridiculous. <laughs> right, I agree. I, I, I like more of a, um, more of a style in your yeah. hair. Right, um, right, right. I agree with that. And I say five. A five. five. Interesting. Five. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, go. Okay, let's go over to David. David Soloff, of course, men's booker for Click. I, I like what he's wearing. Good. He's like rocking it out a little. He's yeah, like, like the guy. Right. Like if you walked in, I'd notice him. He'd be like, "Hey, what's this one about?" He's rock and roll. Yeah. So, um, the outfit's good. I'm forgetting the outfit for a second though. Yeah, what I about? Like, I like his wrinkles in his eyes. Okay. I like his wrinkles make a lot of money. Yes. Do <laughs> they really? Those skinny grunge kids, they don't make time. Really? Yeah. yeah there they you go. Rich. I can't so believe I can that. He's a money maker. But, I don't know about that. Don't yeah, get carried away. Jackie's gonna win. He's a money maker. Wrinkles. Jackie's still wrinkled. He's four knocks. All right. Rude. All right. Nice. I hear a number coming. Um. I hear a number. Let's say. Go ahead. Eight. An eight. Yeah. Ooh. There you go. Very, Very high clear. score. Thank you. Very high but score. That height, right? Yeah. 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 I knew David would like him. And he looks cool. Did you? Really? Yeah, I had a feeling. Yeah. All right, Mark. Mark Adams, GQ Magazine senior editor. This guy sees tons of guys. Go ahead. Well, he's got sort of that well-preserved bass player look about him. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, not necessarily a bad thing. That's no. a nice thing. No. High forehead. Uh, yeah. yes. Hair is okay. It works for you. Thanks. Um, could you have kind of, don't take this the wrong way, a big head? <laughs> you have a big head. Yeah. Hey, so does Rosie O'Donnell. She's well, well for herself. I mean, let's be honest. She can pull off the haircut. Okay. okay. Uh, I would... I would put a cream or something in your hair to. I was going to do that too. Down a little bit. I just wanted right. to be ridiculous. All right, Fred, don't talk so much. Let's yeah, hear it. Okay. Take your evaluation. Let's hear what this gentleman. Your hair always looks like that. Yeah, he was going to do that. I was going to put in there for this morning, but it's good that you didn't try it. You want to You want an honest evaluation? Exactly. All right, go ahead. I'm not going to phony it up like some people. By the way, Fred is wearing makeup. I am not. Go ahead. Yes. Hey, look at the costume. Costume's pretty good. Could firm up a little bit. I give you six. A six. Okay. There it is Thanks. from the judges. All right. Who wants to go next? Jackie the Jokeman Martling? Go ahead. All right. Here he comes. Jackie the Jokeman Martling will be strutting in. We've heard from Fred Norris and Gary Delabate. Where's the Marling music? Uh, That's oh, at the moon. You're absolutely right. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie the Jokeman has more. Uh, he's wearing a suit. A light suit with tennis shoes. With tennis shoes. That is his look. Uh, a wrinkled suit. Can I Jackie, put, push the microphone down so you can talk. Can yeah. I point something out, Howard? Yeah. Um, I noticed the shoes, the sketchers, you know, and you know why? Why? Because they're free. free. I don't think they're free. They're free. All right, why don't we allow why don't we allow Claire the first word? Claire Harth, editor in chief, Playgirl magazine, Jackie the Joke Man Marley. First beauty pageant. All right. Um, I think you look well put together. Um your hair, I like it back. Um it looks He's smiling. It huh? looks bald. I know I can't say it's all on looks, but it looks like you have a good personality. Um, <laughs> oh, he's miserable. <laughs> Go ahead. So wrong. Right. <laughs> you have a very nice smile, and mm -hmm. um, I'll give you six. Ooh. Jackie with a six. You guys are way too nice. All right. Go ahead. Let's uh, go to David Soloff, men's booker for Click. Um. By the way, David is a graduate of the Parsons School of Design, so he oh, knows what he's yeah, talking about. Exactly. That's right. Um, and Claire, I think, is single, aren't you? Actually, they kicked me out. Oh, really? Married, no. You never graduated? No. <laughs> All right, go ahead. But he won eight awards, Howard. I did. Did you? Yeah. All right, well, uh, now look at this mess called Jackie. Go ahead. You know what? 
he's short to be a model. Right. That hair's got to go. Okay. He needs to be like a short hair dude, but he's a really handsome guy. He's like, yeah, yeah. I he's, think so. If he were like <laughs> the right height, how old are you? 60. <laughs> 50. He's 50 years old. 50 All right. You've got to be honest with the judge. That's, that's excellent. You can make money modeling if you were in like. A mess. If you got oh, grew a little bit, you yeah. scale of one to grew. ten. If, not, if it was twenty years ago, are you saying? Uh, no, no, now. now. Oh, right. Now. Really? Are you You're just yeah. a run? You listening, Alan? David, those glasses of yours are tinted, right? Uh, that's true. That I'm telling you. Well, you. Take them off. Just make a double check, will you? Before you. All right. All right. All right. Okay. <laughs> David, what do you give him on a scale of one to ten? I'd say, I don't know. Well, and you really like that suit, huh? Wow. Mm. With that bad shirt yeah. underneath? I, like that suit. Yeah. I can't stand that suit. Oh, thank you. Oh, but it wasn't about the suit. We told but David it wasn't about the suit. Yeah, but that's part of the whole thing. It's like okay, it's the package. All right, right. go ahead. Um, no, I hate that suit. It's horrible. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. It makes him look like... It's, it's too my baggy. Yeah, of course, it's I'm too big on him. him. He just bought it. I but don't know. He got it from Salvation Army. David, he, please he looks give like it. he's two feet tall in that thing. Right, and the sneakers <laughs> don't help. David, give it's him like, a scale of one to ten, please. Oh, God. And that Stummy the Pumpkin outfit. Uh -huh. kills a lot. But I have to say, probably, I'd give him an eight. An eight? Eight. Wow. David. I, I, no, he's I get a good looking guy. Well, what is it, Ralph? What do, what do you guys... Uh, like, if you're giving Jackie an Ralph, eight, Ralph, what do you turn down? Why don't you shut up? I didn't get everyone a 10. Like, who's a 10? Yeah. judging fighting, I will beat your ass. All right, David is entitled. I'll beat your ass right now. David Batman. is entitled. Hey, Ralph. Ooh, oh, easy. I beat you, Jack. Easy. 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 We're in the middle of a contest. Well, See, that one back there, that's hmm. the making of a difficult, difficult model. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'd throw that one out right away. Well, she's very difficult. Trust I me. Can she she yes, she certainly, certainly is. Her, yes. All right, let's go to Mark Adams. <laughs> Honey, there's another queen in the room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm a fashion queen. <laughs> that's right. Time. Mark Adams, go ahead. Jackie the Joke Martling, we're in the middle of a very big pageant. It's important to all of us. We ask you for your evaluation, a serious evaluation. Jackie is a surprisingly good-looking guy. Yeah. Wow. Why is I told you that. I said Jackie's good-looking. Based on hearing you on the radio, I thought you yeah. were like 250 pounds. And <laughs> right. It's not like Howard is... Uh, Exaggerating. Did you think that? No, yeah. not at all. Mark, please uh, 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 tell us what you think. One okay. to ten. Uh, his look is sort of James Conn meets that... Indian that cried about the pollution. <laughs> oh, interesting. Yes, very yes. old. <laughs> you, have to, you have some good wrinkles. Distinguish. Right. The ponytail's got to go. I give you a seven. Okay, a seven it is. Very nice scores for Jackie the Jokeman Martling, who uh, clocks him. Who's next? Why don't we do? Uh, you can do either Benji, John, or yourself. All right. Well, why don't you do Benji and yes. John, and then I'll get up so let's I don't have to move from the microphone. So uh, uh, let's, do, uh, let's do Benji. Next. All right. Benji's next. This guy's a train wreck. I can't imagine... Uh... Don't try to prejudice the judges. Okay. Obviously, that has not worked in your favor. Understood. <laughs> Believe me, the judges are not going to be prejudiced. I can see this group is not going to be. Let's uh, walk in with Benji. There he is. Interesting look. He's gotten his... Walk business. up to the microphone. <laughs> All right, I'm going to... Uh... Howard, can I just point something out really quickly? Benji, yes. Yeah. You know, Benji's so poor that it looks like he went out and bought stuff, but refuses to take the tags off because it's going back today. Is that right, Benji? It's satisfaction guarantee clothing, so I want to see if I'm satisfied. All right, first I'm going to go to Claire Harth, editor-in-chief of Playgirl magazine. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Need to lose some weight. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'll well, say. Um... <laughs> Would you sleep with that? He's smiling no. hard no. for the judges. Um, a little less gel in the hair. Right. More hair? What hair? Let it uh, fall into your face a little. Right. Good. You cover the face. Um, <laughs> and uh, four. A four. four. Okay, that's very honest. You don't like a heavy edition of Playboy or anything? Uh, David Soloff, let's go to you. Men's Booker for Click. Um, <laughs> he's a... Big guy. <laughs> <laughs> just you know, why don't you just let your thoughts out and don't even try to censor yourself? I don't know if they make samples in your size. I don't think I can get you any jobs. Scale of one to ten. Um, before, but you know, he tried to pull it together. Got to give him some. Right. I'd say yeah. four and a half. Four and a half. Okay. All right. All right. Listen, that was very honest. Thank you, David and uh, Mark. Go ahead. Five. A five. Okay. Let's go right now. All right, you go. He didn't even talk about it. <laughs> I think I, I think that that's really uh, I think that was very realistic. Okay. I think that was and very Stuttering realistic. Stuttering John will be next. Stuttering John, who uh, has a, a unique look. Uh, here he comes. Stuttering. Well, step up to the microphone and don't drag this out. Let the judges look you over. Three-piece suit. I haven't seen one of those in a while. <laughs> All right, Stuttering John. We're going to go first to Claire Harth, editor in chief of Playgirl magazine. If you want to just give him a scale of one to ten or point something out, go ahead. Six. A six. Right Interesting. Away. David uh, Soloff, let's go to you. I'd say, uh, it's a nice outfit. He looks pretty good today, actually. Mm -hmm. The hairdo's good, too. Good? It's a nice lower length. I'd say about it. Uh, yeah. six. Oh, a six. six. What was Gary? A uh, eight? It was eight. And this guy's a six. Yeah. Okay, good. All right. Mark Adams. 
Like the outfit. Get rid of the T-shirt. Cut the hair. Don't frown so much. <laughs> <laughs> Give you a five. Five. Oh. Interesting. All right, now I have to go. And don't All wear right. white socks with right. black shoes. Get back shoes. there, John. <laughs> now, where's the runway music? You know, if you want to know something, I turned it off so that, that it wouldn't uh, interrupt your words, but I should walk down. You have to walk with that music. You know, I don't like being evaluated. <laughs> All right, judges, I'm going to turn off that music, silly. All right, uh, judges, I haven't had time to primp like the other guys. Oh, don't. And, of course, my hair was not uh, fixed. Oh, of course, I'll let you have a look at my eyes. Nice baby blue. All right, let's go in order again. Let's go to Claire. Um, I'm going to give you a seven. Seven, thank you. God, Baba Booey beat me. <laughs> no, oh, I did. I think she gave me All right, let's six. give me a six. Yeah. Okay, uh, where, who, David now? David. Um... You're, you're like tall and you have to go like a good build. Thank you. Um, I would say good nose. Thank you. Great nose. Um, I'd say about. I wish you'd straighten your hair sometimes, but uh, so because of that. You let straighten straighten hair? Yeah, I'd love to see you with straight hair one day. Okay, um, I can do that. Um, what's wrong with his hair? With no, I just like I, I don't know. Right, I like you like to see it straight. Wait, He's wait, kind wait. of like. Share and drag in a way. Oh, you know, that's I mean, good. I take that as a positive. That's all right. <laughs> Yeah, straight hair would be nice. So I would say, I would say seven. 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 All, right. All right, and let's go to our third and final Mark. judge. Keep the hair. Get rid of the earring. Stand up straight, but you're still no Jackie. <laughs> oh. I give a six. A what six? did I get? Six. A six, and Gary has an eight. I give wow. Gary a six. You didn't give Gary a six. Yeah. All right, I told you Gary and I were the same. Okay, I agree with that, Judge. Thank you so much. And now we're going to, here's what I'm going to do. Fred, why don't you take a commercial break? Right. We're going to switch into our bathing suits. Oh, boy. And then the judges will the evaluate. Let it all fall in part. <laughs> all right? And everybody stand clear because it's not a pretty sight. <laughs> all right, judges. This will separate everyone out, I'm I sure. I expect those scores to go down. Howard. <laughs> Howard Stern. In our moment today, Magic, who took a lot of heat from the critic when he had his own show, fires back at another talk show host. I'll do a little paper. Now, Howard Stern. Brutal. Every day on radio, just just ripping you every day. And then you had him on your show. I thought you were gracious. Have you seen Howard's show? Oh, uh, it's terrible. <laughs> He's ripping me every single morning. I hope he's ripping this self. This is my camera right here. Yeah, that Howard Stern, your show is the work. Hey, this is Joe Perry. And I'm Stephen Tyler from Aerosmith. And when I'm not singing, writing songs, or having sex with three women at once, like all good rock whores should, I'm listening to this show. Sometimes I listen with the girls, but trust me, you don't need three new, young, beautiful girls to listen to this show. Of course, it should sure help. This Hollywood nightmare. Hollywood still. All right, thank you. Hey, Robin, I understand before we get on with the bathing suit competition, this is, in case you're just tuning in, this is turning into quite the contest, quite the beauty pageant. Uh, our three judges are here, Claire Hart, editor-in-chief of Playgirl magazine. And uh, prior to uh, Playgirl, you were at MTV News. That's a very uh, interesting background. And uh, she is, um, she got a master's degree from Sarah Lawrence. Bachelor's from Wellesley. Mm -hmm. Man, you smart too. Prestige school, yeah. Oh, big yeah. shot, huh? <laughs> yeah, meanwhile, they gave Baba Bowie high scores. Oh, okay. So we're in the middle of a beauty pageant. David Bissolf is here, men's booker for Click. Click is a model management agency, all aspects, all aspects of modeling. And uh, David has won eight national scholastic awards in color and design, so he knows what he's doing. He started out in hair and makeup. He's been a men's booker for 10 years. No, I didn't do hair and makeup. You didn't? No, I worked as a messenger for, like, a crappy hair and makeup agency. That's why I got in. Well, I'm trying to boost up your... Uh, <laughs> right. Well, he's a well-known fish tank designer. Well-known fish tank designer. By the way, I have a 700-gallon tank. No. I'm not trying to influence the judges, but... Uh, oh, stop that. No. I mean, we can talk about you designing my tank. I think uh, we should. Well, let's see how I do. <laughs> All right, okay. That's not fair. <laughs> no, of course not. I, I, believe me. I will disqualify you from even working on my okay. tank. All right. <laughs> And Mark Adams, senior editor of GQ magazine, editor of the personal best section. He's written a cover story for GQ on supermodel Daniela Pestova. Did you bang her while you wrote this? I did not. You did not. Well, I'm surprised. Uh, previous to GQ, you were a writer at Media Week. You're an English major at University of Illinois when you were in college, and uh, you're 31 years old. And you're on the uh, Gossip Show at E. I am. And you uh, work out. Oh, yeah. Very attractive man. 
I know. They say all our judges are trans. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. Do you want to know yeah. where All right. So fans. far, Robin, before the bathing suit competition, where are the judges at? Okay. First of all, Benji, as we all knew, would be the low score. Uh, we put him in because nobody wanted to come in last. Yeah, yeah 13.5. Next on the list is John with a 17. Okay. Fred and Gary are tied at 19. Right. You have 20. Uh oh. But Jackie has 21. Oh, uh, interesting. It is a tight score. Yeah. It's a tight score. So. This a bathing suit course, could change all of us. could change. This will determine the winner. All right, let's go in the same order. Let's have Gary come out. He's been backstage waiting to unveil himself in his bathing suit. Here he comes, our own Baba Booey. Oh, he's in his underwear. <laughs> Did you stuff your package? <laughs> Wait a second. Is, your, uh, is there anything in your underwear? No, there isn't. And you know what? It was a last minute. He's pretty well hung. It was you that. had trunks. It right. was a last minute change. What happened was, Kathy said I looked heavy in the trunks. So I went with the underwear. Now, I know I'm a little thick yeah, in the belly. You look real thin in there. Yeah, I know I'm a little thick <laughs> in the belly. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you, you know, some of the work I've been doing on the legs there. All right. A little bit of work I've been doing Good. on the arms. So okay. Just a, just a little bit. I've been, right. I've been working it. So. Uh, All right. I'm going to. Uh, Claire, before you vomit, I want to get your words. Oh, uh, I got the hair on the back. <laughs> yeah. This stuff doesn't look big. Yeah. It's just looks. It's not taking. It's into not. That it's he's wearing underwear. It's looks. You're getting to see <laughs> his body <laughs> and his face, and perhaps uh, it'll help him. <laughs> he's posing. Don't, you, you're not, don't miss the hair on the back. I know I didn't. Uh, um, right. Three. <laughs> A three. A three. All right. yeah. Whoa, taking him way down. That, we knew that would hurt. We, 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 we knew that would hurt. All right, I'm going to keep going in the same order. David, go ahead. No, I'd say a three. A three. Mark? Let's make it unanimous. A three. <laughs> Three's a three across the board. Gary, I'm going to ask you. Three's a oh, look at that ass. <laughs> Come on. How can you resist? All right, I'm going to call for... Who is next? Fred? All right, Fred, why don't you go next? Fred is, uh, Fred is going to come out. I decided to wear underwear, yes? Fred is wearing his underwear? I thought it was a swimsuit competition. No, he, oh, he wait a minute. to wear underwear, and what? what is in his pants? There's something. Oh, Fred, you got to take a, no artificial. No, got to turn his ball in there so that I wouldn't drip. Drip what? Drip. <laughs> drip. What's wrong with you? What disease do you have? You see, when you have a foreskin, my friend, uh, there are certain... Okay. Uh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I think back. he's telling the judges that for more points. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Go ahead. I don't care. So you can stop. It, it, it makes him it exotic. What is he is foreskin? so strange, judges. I don't care. I know you're not supposed to evaluate that. You want the tissue? No. That's all right. I'll I don't want the tissue. Out. All right. It's, judges, it's, let's it's go to Claire sense. first. Uh, four. Four. Let's go to... Why Why a four, Claire? Just curious. Um, You need definition. Right. Right. Okay. I agree. Okay, David, go ahead. I'd say like a five. A five. Let's go to Mark Adams. Did you want to spin around for them, Fred? Yeah, you do have a nice stuff. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, actually, it's kind of drooping. Yeah. I'm glad to see that. Mark stories. Adams, please. Mm, about a six and a half, subtract a half a point for the foreskin. Six. Oh, six. come on. Yeah. Now, give him a six on. and a half. Don't, don't take off for the foreskin. Six and a half. All right, six and a half it is. <laughs> All right, let's go next to Jackie the Jokeman Martling, who is going to be wearing swimwear, I believe, unless he comes out in his panties. Uh, no, he's, got, he's uh, abided by the rules. He has abided by the rules, as I have. <laughs> Here he comes, Jackie yeah. the Jokeman Martling, sucking in the gut. <laughs> I'm glad to see David laughing. You know, it's that belly button. <laughs> it's scary, isn't it? All right. Let's go over to Claire Harth, editor-in-chief, Playgirl magazine. All right. Go ahead. A uh, four. A four. All right. David Soloff? Uh, yeah. I'd say a Notice four. he doesn't have toenails. A four? Four and a half. All right. Four and a half. Toenails. What's the deal? Notice he doesn't have toenails. I don't think that the judges even have gotten that far down. Let's go to Mark Adams. Maybe Mark has a different opinion. How old are you, Jackie? Fifty-one. I think you. If you got rid of that belly button, I'd give you seven. But what do you give him? What do you give him? I'll give you a seven, but get that thing out of my sight. A seven and a seven. Wait, 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 wait. How can you give him a seven? I know why. I know why. Hey, hey, easy! Don't fight! Don't fight! Hey, don't fight! What's the matter with you? Hey, hey, you get a fist fight just broke up. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? my tattoo. It hurt. It's hostile. Oh, anyway, God. difficult. How can Jackie? What just happened there? I smacked Ralph on the arm. I didn't like the comments on that. Ralph has road rage and he's not yeah. even talking. Ralph, maybe you ought to go. He out. hit my tattoo. I, I just got it. It hurt. We don't know that. that. Maybe you ought to go out of the room and cool down. He's no, I'm fine. Out. Listen. I didn't mean to freak you out, Ralph. I gave you a little tap. How can you give Jackie a seven? Right. When I mean, you couldn't show an ad with that belly button. Nobody would buy a product. No, come on, don't argue with the Bruce. judges that way. I think he's. Ba can I tell you something? Yeah. I think he's basing it that 
which I agree with. Jackie, for a 51-year-old man, is in pretty good shape. All right. Okay. Jackie, very good score over there. Thank you. Right. Uh, Ralph, I apologize. All right. You guys I, all right? I didn't mean to hurt you. It's all right. All right. All right. Jackie, okay. why did you get back over there? With the... Get back over there. Oh, oh, unless Ralph attacks you. Jackie just bitch slapped Ralph. All right. Let's go to uh, Benji next. <laughs> Judges, I'm, I apologize for the, the testosterone you know, outbreak here. Nobody in this contest is going to get Miss Congeniality. No. God, that's the first time I ever saw a fight break out in a beauty pageant. <laughs> <laughs> David laughing. All right. Claire obviously disturbed by the antics in here. Claire, have you ever seen anything like that in the middle? No. What do you want to say? No, the belly button or the fight? Here comes Benji. All right, here's Benji. <laughs> oh, Benji, you got you to strip down. What's the matter with you? I don't think it'll help anyway. Judges, Claire, go ahead. Give him a quick, give him a quick uh, evaluation. Um, I'm a I need to see more. Go ahead, take off your shirt. Unzip. Unzip. Yeah, Howard, he thought this was going to make him look thinner. Right. Good one. Um, Unzip. Notice my eyes are <laughs> wait, 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 Claire. He and I are the same guy? Yeah. Uh, more or less. What did you give him, Claire? I'm giving him a three because he, um, he showed up in a bathing suit and he didn't. All right. That's a three? Yeah. All right. Let's go over to David. I'm going to give him a four because I like the whole wetsuit. <laughs> like... Let's go to Mark Adams. It's good. I'll give you a two for showing up. All right. You're oh. Very honest. Very honest. All right. Let's go to Stuttering John in his swimwear. Benji, get out of here. He's still coming to land. Yeah. Get out of the way and let John come in. All right. Here comes John in his swimwear. Uh, very beautiful. <laughs> I'm going to go right to Claire. Claire, give me a scale of one to ten. Stuttering John. Yeah, a three. A three. Let's go to David Soloff, men's booker for clicks. A three. Uh, out of her mind. Why are you calling the judge out of her mind? Four and, uh, all right, whatever. Well, go on. All right, let's go to David. I apologize. Yeah, it's a three. A three. And let's go to Mark. I'll give you a four because you have a little better shoulders than Gary. All right, there you go. All right, now I have to go. And let me say to the judges beforehand, I have a very strange tattoo on my arm. It is not a tattoo. It is a henna for something that we were doing. All right, so. That, well, they're not right, evaluating right. your tattoo. And I can't take it off because I still need it. But don't evaluate the tattoo. Ignore it. It is body painting. <laughs> Too much free time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like a real jerk doing this. Yes, yes, we do. All right, I'm going to. Look at that thing. Turn it around. That's great. I, I, I give a one for the shorts. Nice legs. Look at it, he's covering Olive up oil. everything. <laughs> Judges, I'll ask you to evaluate. First, I'll go to Claire. Four. A four? What are you talking about? Look at his body. So much nicer. A why, four. why a four? What's wrong with him? Robin, do you think I'm a four? No, Howard? definitely Howard? not. Can I say one thing? She yes. gave you, me, and Gary the same number. No, she gave me a three. She gave you a three? She gave me a three. I know. But how are you? Yeah. How are you? Why a four? Seriously. Um, because you don't have hair on your back. Um, I don't have hair on my back. Who, no, you, that's good. No, what are you yeah, taking off? What do you right. think? Yeah, what, uh, what, what are you taking off for? Apart? Um, you just need a little bit more, uh... Definition and Wait. I, I don't know. You're just four. Howard, you're four? Just How many days a week do you go to the gym? I'm five. And how much money do you spend? A fortune, right? Thing. Do you think what that, that what you spend and what you do is worth it, worth it to be a point bigger than me? I thought. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to quit the gym. That's it. I, I really. I'm going to go to it's David now. David, go ahead. Like not much color. Well, come on. I mean, I work for a living. Come on. Where am I going? I'm not a model. Go ahead, David. <laughs> I like the pose. Um. Out. Um. You have big boobs now. Yeah. I'm working out my uh, chest. You're not saying chest, you're saying boobs. <clears throat> yeah, they're kind of boobish. Oh. <laughs> um, I'd say probably, yeah, like a four. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was going to come. You were working that hard for I've been four. working out. A four. We thought you were going to be over the top. Right, I know Mark will say something different. <laughs> I don't I think so. Six. Six. Stand up okay. straight. I am up straight. You, stick your boobs out and we'll give you a six. <laughs> a six. All right, very good. Anybody got any funny money? Oh, my goodness. All right, so Amory's tabulating the scores now as we speak, Howard. So All bring right. it to me as soon as you're ready. We should hold hands. Robin, I took a hit on the bathing suit what? competition. But everybody did. I thought for sure that I would come up. I thought you would come up con considerably. I thought that but I was going to be a winner there. I, you know, hit. seriously, you, you sort of have, you know, like you and Fred sort of have like the best body. Oh, so you, I mean, so but they didn't give us any points for that. But you know what, Howard, I scored the lowest. Yeah. And and you, and you, and you got a huge gut. I scored the lowest. Claire, I don't understand how you can say Gary's a three and I'm a four. Benji took a four. There, there should be a good... What? Benji what? got a three. Wait, wait. I get on the microphone. I, a... I thought I gave you a five. No, you gave me a four. Sorry. Oh, no changing. <laughs> There's no ch I mean, a, a four. I Claire. mean, there should be a good three or four points between you and... I know. Benji I don't get it. Benji got a three. Eights, and these guys commercial, should be Howard. You're telling the judges they Excuse were doing me. perfectly. Benji got a, a higher score as I did. Look at Benji's... I know. They're totally out of their minds. Totally, totally out of their minds. Look at the difference. you almost in a dead heat. Undressed. I know. 
And do you believe that? No, I, don't. I don't think they understood. Yeah, how I think they think like a ten. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who's a ten. That's no, I don't think yeah, any of us are ten. Tens, no, I don't think we're ten. But I think if Gary is a but three in his underwear there, I'm a nine. It doesn't make. I'm sorry. No, the guy, at least I don't. A five yeah, at least. But you wore long, long trunks. You didn't give them any leg at all. Right. Yeah, but look That's at his upper body. I mean, My upper body compared to his, I got at least a little bicep. Power, power. What? Brett pits like a five to them, I'm sure. You know? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Judges, I'm, I'm shocked at the low score Who I got on bathing suit. Who judges? Yeah. Who? 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 I'm bad one. <laughs> Well, oh, they want somebody. Somebody knows. But those are guys, but those are like models. I'm talking about out of us. A guy who can stay in a gym for 20 hours a day. That's right. All right, all right. Listen, we have to tally the scores up. I'm afraid that uh, Jackie is being quiet because he, he's going to win. He's going to win. He's he got a... shocked by what's going on as you, but I don't think it's fair to argue with them about. No, we can't. We can't argue. It, it, it could be close. All right, who has the results, what, Gary? Howard, there's a whole thing going on out there. There's people. The smoke coming out of people's heads. They're just all right, here it together. we go. Right. Hey guys, okay. were I done any better in this outfit? Yes. Yes. You look stupid in your underwear. I have yeah. the final score. In fact, you would have done real good based on these judges. You would have gotten a nine. I'm calling for a recount. <laughs> I have the final score. All right, go ahead. Okay. Start from the Coming bottom. Coming in dead last. Benji. With a 22.5. Benji. Is Benji. Of course. All right, we, we put Benji in so that we none of us would be dead last. <laughs> Next. From, uh, you know, second from the bottom. Second from the bottom. This was the the place nobody wanted. Right. right. Goes to John. Oh, Stuttering John. Oh. Yeah. I don't believe it. I think Stuttering John is a much better That's looking the, guy than all these guys. The including me. These are the judges. Can I just say something, judges? I think Stuttering John is better looking than the whole group. But that's you. That's I do. No, I you don't told agree. you I never I, found him particularly attractive. No. All right. Okay, no, I was you wrong. You know what? You're an expert in radio. So the, Fine. I mean, I'm just telling you my opinion. All right. All right, go ahead. Number three from the bottom. Go ahead. Gary. I'll take Gary. It. I'll take it. I told you, anything to be second from last. I, I, I reached my goal. Thank you. Gary and I should have been tied for dead last. Go ahead. In the fourth spot. Fourth spot. Fred, uh, no. Howard Stern. Howard Stern, see? So that's, so that's number I, three overall, right, Robert? Right. You're number three. Mm, I fell down in the bathing suit competition. I did. Number two, by just half a point better than you. Yes. Because you had a 34. Is Fred Norris at 34.5? Right. Point five. The point five. Who that, gave him that, the point five? That was, uh... Oh, man. He tried to take oh, over. I'm, I'm calling it a tie for second. You know what? He yeah. tried... You made him give that extra half point. That's I did. Right. I did make him give the extra half point. So the overall winner... Is Jackie. This is, a, this is Jackie Marley. The new Mr. Howard Stern. <laughs> now, judges, I want to ask you something. Ju judges, are you satisfied with your decision now that you... Is that the guy you think should win? Do you think he is the best looking one out of the whole group? Yeah, absolutely. You do? Absolutely. Judges, you do? Claire, I see you questioning it. For, um, yeah, for age... Uh, but you don't, you, you don't think you age is being, why are you factoring in age? age? Everything can be considered, yeah. He's a great, looking, yeah. he's a great he's looking, looking guy. He's the best looking of the bunch. Wow, Jackie, you took it, and I am shocked. I am Nobody shocked. Picked Quitting my job and going on tour for a year like this. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so there it is, judges. <laughs> Claire, is Jackie the one you're most attracted to? Free dirty CDs for everybody. If you had to pick one guy out of all these guys, too. All right, who would, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, who would you date? Yeah, who would you date? Who would you date? Of course. What, what is that called? Uh, fame in the money. How, yeah. Howard. So why'd you give me such so a low yeah, score? Because you said it's on looks alone. Oh. oh. Yeah. Howard, you and your money get a lot better looking. Right. <laughs> hey, that's such an insult. See, see you got to keep the money. Claire, I don't understand. Why would you want to? Why would you want to sleep with the best looking guy? You should have made your bathing suit at a hundred dollar bill. I know. It's the same world it was before you got famous, boss. <laughs> I swear to God. Jesus, when Jackie beats me, and I and I said that John would win, that Gary and I would tie for last, that Fred would beat me. And that um, that uh, the only one who wouldn't beat me was Benji. But see, I think you got, right now. I think you got a better body than Fred. If Fred did, you know, lost a little bit of weight and toned up a little bit. Yeah, so, so why didn't the points reflect it in the judging? I don't get it. I don't get it either. I look at Gary. Gary. Gary got the same points I did in baby You know what's not fair? That's true. That's you know what's not fair? They took into consideration Jackie's age. I mean, when you yeah. go to Excuse a me. Matter, I'm waiting for all the other contestants you see, to congratulate. Me. No, did you see Jackie's body when he took off his shirt? I mean, he had boobs. I know. Definitely. I mean, who would buy a product? Yeah. Who would buy a Tommy Hilfiger out if you saw Jackie? You'd run Howard. from the product. Oh, please. So do you think, wait a second, are you saying that Howard in his swim trunks would sell a Tommy Hilfiger product? I think better than Jackie. Oh, come on. 
We're in love. Come Jackie on, doesn't come have on. a look. Come on. Yeah, you don't think Howard has a better body than Jackie? Well, Jackie's got... Jackie's does got the pretty... term sore loser come to mind anywhere in here? Well, oh, come on. You're basically I'm saying is that, that you if too. you guys were the last people on earth, Jackie's the mom. Well, I'm accepting the judge's decision. I and I'm accepting it. Jackie doesn't get, I get. All right. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations, Flavio. And I guess if you two guys die, <laughs> I get to work. <laughs> what can I say? Judges, I, judges, I disagree with your decision. I one humbly. One time down the runway, Jackie. What are the prizes? Yeah, yeah, Jackie, one more time. Now, take off your shirt. And get, did you see his belly button and the protruding stomach? <laughs> yeah, take I mean, off your shirt. Honest to God, how did he get better grades than I did? I don't get it. I think my face is more attractive than his. I'm sorry. How dare you? Look at Jackie, look at that. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> But you know what? Turn around, Jackie. Jackie looks good from the back. That's he's what got I'm like say. a good, good upper body. Yeah. He's the firmest. <laughs> That's he sad. Firmest. Well, what about yeah. this? What? I, I mean, it's firm, it's, but it's no, fat. It's, uh, it's firm, but it's fat. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's Get on the, the microphone. Winner. He's the winner. Everyone, we want. He's got a nice Now take a breath. I'm not sure. Nice nice stomach. Please. All right, judges. Why I'm gonna. Well, who's he? He's so I would win. He would. Now he's all bitter. He really wants to be a really bad. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. Yeah, no, he really. Wait, what am I bitter about? So bitter. <laughs> 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 all right, look, judges. I'll abide by your decision. I personally think <laughs> that this isn't right. This is not right. I don't think. Is Jackie... there bad feelings in the yeah. back? Not, not I don't mind. I don't mind that I didn't win. I mind that Jackie won. <laughs> Nobody ever dreamed that Jackie would win. No, that's a shocker. Mm. So. Jeez, I'm shocked that you're the, the room has gone yeah. silent. Yeah. <laughs> Robin, would you agree? What was your What was your lineup, Robin? I had Howard first. Of course. Uh, I think Fred second, Jackie third. Mm -hmm. Gary fourth, John fifth, Benji last. Yeah. yeah. Right. In suit and bathing suit. Mm -hmm. or? Well, I was just giving my general. All right. Now that you've seen the beauty the pageant, right now that you've seen the beauty pageant, Robin, really, who do you think should have won? I definitely thought you did better in the earlier competition. Thank you. You should have scored higher. Yes. You really Overall, though. But, higher. But Overall, do you still hold that I should have won the yes, competition? Absolutely. Yeah. But in the second competition, how did you think he did? The second you competition, he did. He, I thought he was had a better body than Fred's, which was surprising to me. Right. And well, so I, I thought he did well. So I should have won that. Yeah. I don't get how I didn't take this thing. <laughs> I think the judges were biased against me. I if you were going to do a photo shoot. I'm claiming bias. If you were going to do a photo shoot for GQ with some nice hip clothes, who would you put in them? All of us. Do I have to pick from this room? Yes. 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 Pick one yes. of the guys. Come on. First and second. First and second. Oh, man. Come on, Mark. <laughs> you know, like some, some, some happening new stuff, you know, like GQ. Who are you going to put in the clothes? Who am I going to put in the club? Yeah. I think you just got to accept the judge's decision. No, no, but I'm just this, curious. This is a good would... question because Mark is his, this smoke coming we, out. We've been doing this the whole time. <laughs> you. Yeah, it's over. Have it's over. You, you have to go with Jack. Go Especially with if you're going to show his legs. Jack is the only one with any leg muscles here. I, oh, hold it a second. I'm coming back out there. I have the best leg muscles. My legs? Hold it a second. I'm coming around with you. Hold it a second. Wouldn't you want Fred or Howard because they're kind of tall and... Oh, look at Hold it a second. Look at those leg muscles. Everybody stand aside. <laughs> Hold it a second. Come on. Look at these. Come on. Look at that. What are you talking about? You don't know what look you're talking about. Calf. I got right here. Look at your calf. Right there. Yeah, yeah now you're showing it. Feel that. Feel that. Feel that. Oh, feel that. Get out of here. Get out of here. Jackie does have better legs. Look at that. He's got legs like Charles Atlas. I don't it's know. Like I, I like a, a long, thin body. I don't know what's right. wrong with the judges. And believe me, so do the judges. <laughs> and you heard Claire said she would sleep with me. And I think you two guys would, too. Oh, no. That's the end of it. <laughs> all right, listen. We're yeah. all brave. All right, but listen. Jackie is the winner. Jackie, congratulations. You are the best-looking guy in the show. Nothing, congratulations. Well, believe me, he wins a lot. He can put up on that dopey, right. that dopey right. website of his winner of the Nancy's beauty pageant. I promise now. I will not. Fred, you are the uh, runner-up. Should anything happen to our queen for the day? And it probably will because he's 65 years old. That's right. And then somehow I ended up third. All right. Well, oh. what? and the rest of you are real losers. <laughs> Wait, Robin, how many points separated me and Howard? Uh, you had like a 28, so you were pretty far down there. And what did Howard have? He had a 34. See, I think I blew it. I should have worn these in the swimsuit two yeah. I would have got another three points, maybe. I think maybe. I would have gotten a four, maybe. <laughs> David says no. <laughs> Nothing would have helped.
involved you. <laughs> hey, Howard. <laughs> Mark, too. Yes. Good to know. Your ego is kind of shot. Maybe you're going to have to have a scores party, too. Yeah, we might have to call Lonnie. Yeah, the girls have to tell me they're good looking at you. All right, we're going to take a... Imagine in this group of losers, I came in third. That's pretty sad. That's pretty damn sad. I want to thank our judges, though. They did the best they could under very adverse conditions. Oh, you know what? Yeah, the Vince, lights were on. Had they, had, they had, more time, had they had more time to think, I think they would change their opinion. I think so. Uh, Benji has to say something real quick. Uh, thanks to Pan Aqua for spying with the scuba. They said oh. it was very hard to get into a fat guy into it. But they... All right, well. Good. Okay. It would have been better if you were in your underwear. I want to thank Claire Harth, editor-in-chief of Playgirl Magazine. Playgirl Magazine doing well? Mm-hmm. You know, I always thought that would fold. I really did. Yeah, I was surprised it survived. Is the magazine read more by gay men or by women? Women. Really? Yeah. I'd say like 70, 30. Yeah. My sister likes it. Yeah? yeah she loves seeing guys nude. Wow. Do you know how they always say chicks don't like to see guys nude? They love it. They do it. Do you guys do celebrities in there? Have you ever done celebrities? Yeah. Yeah. Like, who's the last celebrity you did? Um, we just had Cameron. Ma- you mean totally nude? Yeah. We do like profile celebrity guys n- dressed all the time. No, I meant naked. Oh. Full frontal. Mm. Full frontal. No, they don't get. It's that. hard to get some real yeah. star to go nude and show his penis. I've got Howard. You're going to be interested in my shot of you. That oh, really? For this upcoming issue, yeah. Oh, oh, you're already in the magazine, but you don't win the contest. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, right. we gave him a body. David, good luck with your job with Click. For 10 years, you've been the uh, main men's booker for Click uh, Modeling Agency. Thanks for coming in here and being such a good sport. And also, uh, Mark Adams, uh, GQ Magazine. GQ Magazine doing well? Extremely. It is. I still say you were off on your judging. But, uh, Why okay. is he doing him? He, he doesn't pick the pictures. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, can I get Jackie's card on the way out? Uh, yes, you can. Jackie's available for any kind of modeling gigs for you three. All right. Anyway, we got to take a break. Uh, thanks to all of our judges, even though you were dead wrong. I thought a bathing suit. Thank I, you. I, you'll never be I back. I thought you'd zoom ahead. Do you want to know something? I, I really did great in the clothing yeah. the competition. And in bathing suit, I just said I'm going to take off. If Gary got a three. I said I'm good for at least a five. Right. And no one gave me a five. They gave me I four. six. You did. But Claire said she wanted to give me a five and you give me a four. Mark right. gave Jackie a seven. That's what did it. Jackie, but could I say something? Can I say something? Claire wanted to give me a five. And she didn't. And she didn't? And that, and that in my mind, if I had a point, I would have beaten Fred and tied Jackie. You would have been just below Jackie. Right. And you would have been number two in the competition. So here you hear already how these beauty pageants are rigged. I try it. All right. Next year, we have to do it again. Everybody work for a year. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah. I'm no more beauty pageants. Yeah. We'll be back for, for Jackie year. might be we'll dead now. Yeah, Howard, you'll have a chance if I die. Right. I'm number one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back right after these words. Howard Stern.